Father, and to the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. <clears throat> welcome to Mass, wherever you might find yourselves. You're very welcome indeed. And so we come before our God full of joy um, and also aware of our own sinfulness, but with confidence and humility we ask his pardon. Lord, sometimes we can take your very precious gift of life for granted. Lord, have mercy. Lord, sometimes we can take this very beautiful world that you've given us for granted. Christ, have mercy. Lord, sometimes in our hurry, in our rush, and indeed in our selfishness, we can take one another for granted. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Let us pray. O God, strength of those who hope in you, graciously hear our pleas, and since without you mortal frailty can do nothing, grant us always the help of your grace, so that in following your commands we may please you by our resolve and our deeds. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. And our first reading today is from the book of Kings. Just a bit of background to that so it makes sense. Um, you might remember that Jezebel was helping her um, husband uh, Ahab to get the vineyard of uh, Naboth. He coveted it really. And uh, he was very sad and upset by it. So Je Jezebel said, oh, I, I can fix that. So she got a group together to lie about Naboth and said that he'd done all dreadful things. And so he was stripped of that and then down went Ahab to uh, take over the, the uh, vineyard. Um, and it's there that we catch up with him after God has intervened. So it says, after the death of Naboth, the word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite. Up he said, go down to meet Ahab the king of Israel in Samaria. You'll find him in Naboth's vineyard. He's gone down to take possession of it. And you are to say this to him. The Lord says this, you've committed murder and now you usurp, you, you, now you you sir as well for this and the lord says this in the place where the dogs lick the blood of naboth the dogs the dogs will lick your blood too and then ahab said to elijah so you found me out O oh, my enemy elijah answered i found you out for your double dealing and since you have done what is pleasing to the lord I'll now bring disaster down upon you. I will sweep away your descendants and wipe out every male belonging to the family of Ahab, fettered or free in Israel. I will treat you and your house as I treated the house of Jeroboam, the son of Nebat, and Basha, son of Algeba, for provoking my anger and leading Israel into sin. And against Jezebel too, for the Lord spoke these words, the dogs will eat Jezebel in the field of Jezreel. Now those of Ahab's family who die in the city, the dogs will eat. And those who die in the open country, the birds of the air will eat. And indeed, there was never anyone like Ahab for double dealing and for doing what is displeasing to the Lord, urged on by Jezebel his wife. He behaved on the most abominable way, adhering to idols, just as the Amorites used to do, whom the Lord had dispossessed for the sons of Israel. Now when Ahab heard these words, he tore his garments, put on sackcloth next to his skin and fasted. He slept in sackcloth, he walked with slow steps. And then the word of the Lord came to Elijah the Tishbite. Have you seen how Ahab has humbled himself before me? Since he's humbled himself before me, I'll not bring the disaster in his days. I'll bring the disaster down on his house in the days of his son. The word of the Lord. 
the psalm, the response to the psalm today is, Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. Have mercy on me, God, in your kindness, in your compassion, blot out all my offence. Awash me more and more from my guilt, and cleanse me from my sin. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. My offences, truly I know them, my sin is always before me. Against you, you alone, have I sinned. What is evil in your sight, I have done. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. From my sins, turn away your face and blot out all my guilt. O rescue me, God, my helper, and my tongue shall ring out your goodness. Be merciful, O Lord, for we have sinned. And we prepare for the Gospel. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to... Matthew. Jesus said to his disciples, You've learned how it was said you must love your neighbour and hate your enemy. But I say this to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you. In this way you will be sons of your Father in heaven, for he causes his son to rise on bad men as well as good, and his reign to fall on honest and dishonest men alike. For if you love those who love you, what right have you to claim any credit? Even the tax collectors do as much, do they not? And if you save your greetings for your brothers, and you do nothing for your brothers, are you doing anything exceptional? Even the pagans do as much, do they not? You must therefore be perfect, just as your Heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite hearts. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin. Pray now, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. O God, who in the offerings presented here, provide for the twofold needs of human nature, nourishing us with food and renewing us with your sacraments. Grant, we pray, that the sustenance they provide may not fail us in body or in spirit. And we ask this, through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Lift up, let us, let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ your Son, our, your, our Saviour and Redeemer, incarnate by the Holy Spirit and born of the Virgin Mary. Fulfilling your will and gaining for you a holy people, he stretched out his hands as he endured his passion, so as to break the bonds of death and manifest the resurrection. And so, with the angels and saints, we declare your glory as with one voice we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, he broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was in it, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. Bring it to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Charles our Bishop, all the clergy and the whole of God's people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy, keeping in mind those who have died from this wretched war in Ukraine, from the pandemic and from other catastrophes across our world. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, and with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honour is yours, forever and ever. And let us pray together now the beautiful family prayer that Jesus himself taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our day. That by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other now a sign of peace. Peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As this reception of your Holy Communion, O Lord, foreshadows the union of the faithful in you, so may it bring about unity in your church. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Let us go in peace.
Thanks be to God. I hope you have a beautiful day. Thank you very much for being part of the Mass. God bless. Oh,